plants, trees, flowers, maybe even fruits, vegetables. They're, come, they're plants also, right? We're talking about resources that we can all find at our local farmer's market, right? And Oakland County Farmer's Market is officially opening for business in the springtime, in the summertime, and we got so much to celebrate and talk about joining the Splash Live right now to give us those details. We have market manager for Oakland County Farmer's Market, Brad Weathy, joining the Splash. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Good morning. We appreciate you, Brad, for being here. I'm I'm a I'm a big fan of farmers markets, man. Natural plants <laughs> from local vendors and, and and fruits and vegetables that you you getting or as organic as they can pretty much come rather than from a grocery store. Just tell us a little bit more about our local Oakland County farmers market and a new season opening up. Oh man, there's there's a lot to talk about about the market here. Um, real quick, we've been at our location here for 60 plus years, but the market's actually been in operation for over 100 years now. Ooh. Came from downtown Pontiac. It's now currently in Waterford. Mm -hmm. um, this time of year, as you were mentioned, you can find everything from flowers, produce, uh, meats, baked goods, a number of different things. Uh, just this week, I've got about 45 vendors who will be here on Saturday. So Whoa. plenty of good things to pick from. Oh, my goodness. 45 vendors. So I know we, <laughs> we got to be talking about, like you said, flowers, uh, uh, fruits, vegetables, anything. Let's just start there. Flowers, fruits, and vegetables. Obviously, I mentioned that a few times. I'm thinking that's all I'm thinking. Anything beyond that we can expect from local vendors? Absolutely. Um, so our amounts of baked goods um, here, we have a number of baked good vendors. We're starting to offer some services such as uh, knife sharpening. Mm. Um, mm. We've got hot prepared food here on site. We've got eggs, um, honey, syrup. I, the oh. list goes on and on. Oh, my goodness. That sounds like the place to be. Nice open <laughs> doors. Good weather. Oh, we get good weather too with great food. Why could how why would we deny that? Plus, we got a lot going on up there. Um, you also contribute to healthy lifestyles. How do you how do you feel like the Oakland County Farmers Market actually actively contributes to promoting healthy lifestyles within the community? Certainly. So one thing that we pride ourselves on here at the market is we're producer based, meaning what you're able to buy here at our market is grown, harvested, raised by the farmers here selling that product. So it's not it's not getting passed through multiple facilities. It's not traveling around the world. Um, so much of it is grown locally right here, even in Oakland County, as yes, well sir. as our surrounding counties. Yep. The nice thing is if you have any questions on how to prepare the foods, how to eat the foods, um, all of those farmers are right here on site to answer those questions as Ooh. well. So it's about as fresh as it can get. And you're hearing it right from the person that grew it. I'm telling you, man, farm to table. It doesn't get any better than farmer's market. I always like to promote that. So I, I want to kind of go back, if you don't mind, backtrack, because I know there's some people listening who probably heard about 45 vendors and they're doing more than just this and that. What else, like, for the people who are interested in being a vendor at the Oakland County Farmer's Market, what is that process like? Absolutely. So we actually accept vendor applications throughout the year. Um, you can find it via our website at the Oak Gov website. Okay. Um, otherwise, we also have paper copies here right at the market. Um, myself and I've got three or four other staff members as well. So if anyone's interested in becoming a vendor, feel free to anytime stop by the market, pick our brains, ask any questions. We're, we're here to help. Um, we're also trying to grow our market, so we're actively always looking for more and more vendors. Mm -hmm. Rightfully so. Helping local businesses, local people, local entrepreneurs, people who want to get their uh, start and just get some of their products out just to, uh, so the community can support that. I completely understand. Join us right now on the Splash Live. Oakland County Farmers Market Market Manager Brad Weathy joining us to talk about a little bit more about the farmers market and things that they have going on up there at the farmers <laughs> market. So just to get an overall scope of the farmers market, I just kind of want to mm -hmm. see what the perspective is about the farmers market. What would you say the mission of your establishment is? We know, obviously, we're bringing together local vendors and things of that nature within the community. But can you explain it from your perspective, the, the absolute mission of the farmer's market? I would say our biggest mission here at the market, and I, I would imagine my vendors would back me up on this, is really trying to make sure that you know our guests, whether they're from local or from afar, get a, a healthy, a safe option to eat beautiful things to bring home, beautiful gifts mm -hmm. to give to others, mm -hmm. tasty, delicious food to eat. Um, we strive to better our local community, um, not only with our vendors here, but we offer a number of different food assistance programs. Um, we do Gleaners Food Distribution Days here. So we really try to help the community in a number of different aspects in different ways. 
Nice, nice, nice. And it's to my understanding, I want you to correct me if I'm wrong, there's other different events that go on at the farmer's market. We're not just talking about <laughs> buying and selling things. If I'm not mistaken, we're talking about yoga. Uh, tai, am I saying this right? Tai Chi? Yep. <laughs> we're doing all of that. Come on, let's talk about it, Brad. What is, what's, what's going on? Uh, so we've got yoga going on here. We've got Tai Chi. I've got my whole list in front of me here. We've got our flower days coming up, so flower-specific days. We do master gardening programs here. We do uh, two garage sales throughout the year, two uh -huh. art shows, a shredding event. Uh, we do a moonlight market for the afternoon evening folks who can't make it during our normal hours. Right. We do a corn roast later in the year. Uh, the list goes on. Mm, mm. Oh, man. So it, it just seems like the place to be. Uh, so many things <laughs> going on. We're not just talking about fruits, vegetables, and plants. We obviously went beyond that. We went to baked goods and pastries. We went to Tai Chi, yoga, things of that nature. But we also want to keep things in perspective also. Um, not everything is available all the time. Where I, I should say... We're, it's not a 24-7 type of operation. Can you just give a little bit Correct. of information to the specific hours of operation that we have set for the spring and or summer uh, seasons coming up? Yeah, it's a little bit unique compared to most markets. We do operate year-round. Um, January through April, we are here on just Saturdays from 7 a.m. until 1.30 p.m. Okay. But starting in May, so just this last week, we've now gone back to our Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday schedules, and we do that all the way through December here from 7 a.m. until 1.30 p.m. on all three of those days. Nice, nice. So specific hours, specific days that you want to kind of get into when it comes to uh, the Oakland County Farmer's Market, but a lot of activities, a lot of different things going on, and you want to learn how to be a vendor, make sure you check out their website also. Any last words before we let you go? You want to let the community know about Brad? Absolutely. Next biggest thing coming up is we all know Mother's Day is coming up. So if mm. you're looking to buy mom some flowers, please swing on by. We have a large variety of them. Otherwise, stay tuned on our social media. I do weekly videos about what you can find here, um, as well as check out our website for all our special events coming up. We're adding a couple new things this year. Absolutely. I'm glad you mentioned that. Mother's Day. Don't go to Kroger. Don't go to Meyer. Support our local vendors and our local Oakland County Farmers Market. Thank you again, Market Manager for the Oakland County Farmers Market, Brad Weathy. Thank you again. We appreciate your time for joining us on The Splash. Thank you. Have a great rest of your day.